Hey guys, it's Kathy. Today we're doing this natural makeup. This is my sister Rachel. We help me and Mary helping her get ready for her senior prom. She doesn't wear makeup on an everyday basis, so Mary created this really natural and beautiful look that's perfect for all occasions. I already did her hair before we filmed this, but if you guys want to see how I did it, we can always film that later. Oh, hey guys, it's Mary. Um, so. Um, I will teach you how to do her makeup today. It's very simple, very easy. It did take us about 45 minutes, um, but you know, you can always fast forward and skip, modify whatever you like. Um, so what I started out first, I did the Bobbi Brown Moisturizer Primer. She has really dry skin, so I figured this is really good for, um, for her skin type. And for the highlighter, I'm using the Benefit What's Up. I did it on the high points of her cheeks, down the bridge of her nose, and also on her chin a little bit. And I blended that in with my fingers the warmth of my fingers will be really good to just blend all that in. Uh, for foundation, I use the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation. She has really, really beautiful skin, and so the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea doesn't give you too much coverage unless you build it up. And she still wanted her freckles to show through, so I did a really light layer of it. But I also use the Black Beauty Blender because the black one gives you a little bit of a heavier coverage, like the black. Beauty Blender will help you with the coverage. So I use like an even, you know, like I kind of balance it out. For concealer, I use the Bare Minerals Concealer. It's the serum concealer in medium. She doesn't have a lot of under eye circle at all. So with the serum, it'll just kind of cover uh, just a little bit. And it was really great and I blended that in with the Beauty Blender. To set it, I use the Laura Mercier Powder, uh, the Laura Mercier Setting Powder with the big fluffy Real Technique brush. And I just kind of swish it all in and pat it all around her face just to set it. She has really dry skin, so I didn't want to use too much because then you get cakey, and nobody wants cakey makeup on prom day. And then I sucked in her cheeks, or she sucked in her cheeks because, you know, she said she wanted a really cutthroat cheek. So I use a Kat Von D shade and light palette. I use the first and the middle shade for the contour. I did a really, really light layer of it. Again, like she just wanted it to be very natural. I brushed it down the, uh, her nose to do a really light contour and across the bridge of her nose and on her cheeks just to where the sun is gonna hit naturally. For bronzer, I use the Tarte Avenue Princess Bronzer. Um, it has a little bit of a sheen in it. It's not the matte one. It's the one that has a little bit of glitter in it. So it kind of made her look a little glowy. I did it down her neck just to make everything match. Um, very easy. You guys have seen this before. Very simple. And I did another really light dusting just so that everything looks um, even. For highlight, I use the Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter. Obviously, you guys know by now. It's the collab that Jaclyn Hill did with Becca. I did it on her cheekbone or on her... Yeah, I did it on her cheekbones and I did it under the uh, under her eyebrows. For blush, I used the Tarte Color Wheel Blush, the one that just came out this Christmas. And I um, did both, I did two colors. I did Deco and Concept, I mixed it together and I blushed on her cheeks. Deco is a very bright coral and Concept is a more mauve -y. And so with that together, it gives you a really muted um, coral color, which is really great because she has a black dress so you don't want like really pink cheeks because that'll look weird. For eyebrows, I use Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in Ebony. We have really dark hair, but it has a little bit of an undertone of brown in it. So with Ebony, it goes really good with your eyebrows. And Rachel has really good brows to start with, so it's very easy. Uh, to start out with for eyebrows, or I'm sorry, for eyeshadow, I use the um, Tart Tartlet and Bloom Shadow Palette. I brush, um, let me see, I brushed Flower Child all over her lid, and then with a crease brush, I did Sweetheart and Rebel and mixed it together um, just to give it a really sloppy look. And here I'm doing it, I did the same. It was Sweetheart and Rebel right under her eyelids. And uh, for all over the lid, I did Funny Girl all over the lid just for a little bit of glitter. Um, as you can see, as I'm doing the eyeshadow, I'm just doing it very sloppy, a little bit of circle. I don't know what my boyfriend was doing. He was the one that was filming and the sun was going in and out. He's a horrible cameraman, ladies. Um, but he's a great man. <laughs> for under her eyebrows, I did the Becca Champagne Pop again. I grew up her lashes. Asians, we have really thin, straight, stick lashes. And so I stood here for 10 minutes curling her eyebrows and you guys only see 10 seconds of it. But I literally stood there for 10 minutes curling it. She has really beautiful lashes, but man, they are hard to get up. 
Um, for mascara, I use the Urban Decay Cannon Balm. This is my all-time favorite mascara because it's waterproof. It's just like hair. If your hair is curly and you go into water, it's going to fall, and it's just gonna be the same with your um, lashes. If you use, if you don't use a waterproof mascara, it'll just fall as soon as you put it on. So for me, I like using a waterproof one because it'll keep it up. For um, volume, I use the Maybelline Lash Sensation just to give it more volume because Urban Decay it gives you stay but it doesn't give you volume. So that's what I did. Here I curled it again with mascara, which I would not advise you doing at all because it'll just ruin your lashes. See how it sticks. What was that? Oh, contact, contact fell I did the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and I did a couple extra spritz because you know it's prom and you want it to last a little longer so that's what I did. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed our video. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.